Alright guys, I know it's been quite a while, but I finally have my internet set up. I'm at my new place, so everything will be back on track. I will be having videos out Monday, Wednesday, which is today, and Friday, and probably sometime during the weekend, I'm not sure. But everything is back on track, and I found this awesome ROM in the T-Mobile Android development section. So, since we're on AT&T, you probably may not have seen it. But it's still a really awesome ROM and I just wanted to make a video about it. So I'm going to be doing my review first and then like how to install it afterwards since this is a T-Mobile based ROM. So I figured we could go ahead and get started. Now up front, it looks pretty much like a stock TouchWiz ROM, right? I mean it's got all the TouchWiz widgets, the launcher. Now you can change out the launcher for say Nova. If you want a theme. See this is a TouchWiz ROM, but I'm running Nova Launcher, so I mean it's more, you know, customizable, but let's go ahead and jump into the apps. Now this does come with the stock, we'll see everything. <laughs> it has a stock camera, there is no 4.2 camera, which I don't mind. I never used it, but the TouchWiz camera is pretty awesome. It came with Chrome, Dropbox, now something different, it does come with DSP Manager. So if you like to enhance your audio and everything like that, you can just modify your sound files with this app. So you can bass boost. I don't really mess with the equalizer because I have my iBeat, so they just kind of work. So it comes with Goo Manager. It comes with a lot of, like, a few T Mobile stuff. Not too many, but Mobile Hotspot, Wi Fi calling if you're on Wi Fi. And Wi Fi calling works for me because my T Mobile SIM card isn't here. I unlocked my phone to work with my T Mobile SIM card because I have unlimited on T Mobile. So I put my AT&T SIM card in my Galaxy S3. It does come with LMT Launcher, which is Pi. Kind of hard to do with the case on, but see, got the little Pi set up right there. So if you jump in here, you can customize everything about Pi. You can customize where it's at, you know, left or right side, top, bottom, everywhere. <laughs> you can mess with the colors. You can mess with, you know, the activation area. I have mine set from the top to the bottom because it just makes it easier. So you can kind of pull it out anywhere. Let's go back. See mobile hotspot, we do have the AOSP messaging app. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have anything on there because we've been getting a lot of weird calls from some spam number, but let's go into the settings. Now, one reason I chose the AOSP messaging instead of the TouchWiz messaging was because you do have the emoji support and also you had the pop-up. So when you get a text, you get a little pop-up that shows up. But you can also have your little emojis. So if you go to new message, if you just type down here, hit menu, and insert emoji, you can choose with the little iPhone emojis. So you can, your friend that complains like that they don't have emojis on their Android, you can make fun of them because you do. So, And also stock um, TouchWiz music player, which I like more than you know any other music player, but personal preference. You have the pop-up browser, Super SU instead of Super User, and terminal emulator. Excuse me. Um, this is something different because you don't see terminal emulator in many ROMs. Now, if you don't know what terminal emulator is, I don't recommend messing with it. But it's just so you can send commands to your phone. Now, this does have the, you know, when you make a call, you can record the call. A lot of people ask about that. I'm not really sure why, but and you have a VPN client. So let's go ahead and jump into settings. We go down to about phone. See, this is running on Android 4.1.1 because, don't quote me, but I think that's the latest that T-Mobile Note 2's had. But AT&T has 4.1.2, I think. Or was that the Galaxy S3? Too many phones. But you see, this does have the SGH T889, which is a T-Mobile Note 2. If you want to, you can change your build.prop so that it says SGH I317. I don't really, just, it's fine. Let's go back. Just have the motion, S Pen. No, really anything different. Just makes a standard, you know, little noise that the S Pen does. Now, under, sorry, under lock screen, if you go into lock screen options, you notice that there's not much here. So if we go back, you see that there's TSM parts. This is kind of where the customiz customizability. I think that's how you say it, is it? But that's where everything kind of comes in in this ROM. So if you go to general, you know, this is where you can 
mess with your developer options, your window transitions, transition animations. So if you want them really, really fast or just normal. So I mean, you can have fancy inputs. Haptic feedback, why not, right? So, I'm trying to think of something to get to the fancy animations. Let's go to device info. Not really that fancy. But, <laughs> sorry, it's not really anything fancy. I don't know really where that comes into place, but if you want a faster device, I don't recommend using that, but you can. I mean, it's always there. Now, if you go to lock screen options, this is where I thought it was kind of neat, because if you go to lock screen style, you can have the AOSP lock screen, which is this, where it has the camera, Google Now, and of course, the unlock. Now, if you want custom shortcuts, go to seven spot. And this is where, of course, there's seven spots. We got TSM settings, phone call, screen timeout. I stuck there for a minute. But you can customize those shortcuts too, by the way. And then if you go to lock screen options, this takes you to the default touch with lock screen options, which you don't really want to mess with those too much. But you can use a custom carrier. Um, like that's so you can change the name. It said T-Mobile, but see, I changed it to where it says brand is Note 2. And then I also change that on lock screen. Now you have to change the lock screen and the status bar. See how it says it down there? You have to change both in order for it to not say T-Mobile in one place. And, you know, then you can change the color. You can just disable all lock screens if you don't want them. It does have the lock screen flashlight. Which is like the most handy feature ever. I use this like when I'm trying to get in my house. Unfortunately, it gets turned off like when you, you know, your screen locks. But if you go to the custom apps, this is where you can select your custom apps for the um for the lock screen. I'm gonna go back to the Galaxy Note 2 unlock because I like it for a little bit better. But see, if you go back to the Note 2, you notice you can't choose custom shortcuts. You have lock screen timeout, finger ink, which is you see a little ink, and you can choose custom ink color. So if you want black. Notice it's black, and black actually looks pretty good on this. Because like the, the wallpaper that I have set up, I think it looks pretty neat. Now if you go to status bar options, this is probably my favorite part of this entire ROM. I mean, because this is why I, I use AOSP mainly. Is if you go down, you can change the clock style so it has a small AM, PM, it has a small day of the week, and it has the center clock. That is how I set up my zoom in a little bit but that is how I always set up my clock in my status bar I just I love the layout and you see I have the little circle battery mod over there in the corner that's because you can change the battery mod if you go over to scroll it down battery icon type you see I have the accurate blue circle if you want to you can change that to green but I kinda like the blue because the blue looks pretty neat zoom back out but I'm gonna go to cancel if you want to you can just have the stock green bar up there as well but you can change the color of that if you want that blue and then you want the the um circle blue or you can have them both green you know anything you want this does have the my UI battery bar which is a little battery that goes across showing how much battery you got let's go back you can choose the notification bar color you see how it's black now I kind of left it that way because I like the transparent type of look and also like the toggles because I mean these aren't just the regular touch with style toggles these are pretty neat black and white I mean it just looks better than the stock I mean there's some things that stock touch with is nice for and there's other things that it kind of missed out on basically and this is where you can change the carrier text in the status bar and then this is where you can basically hide everything so if you don't want the keyboard switcher, you want to hide the blocking mode, your alarm icon, Bluetooth, <laughs> sound, Wi-Fi call. I choose hide no SIM because I take my SIM card out a lot. And then we go to miscellaneous. Now this is where you can disable you know other stuff. I like the wake and unplug. If you unplug the phone, it will wake the phone. But I don't like that, so it's unchecked. But this little. And also another thing that they brought over from AOSP is the NFC. Normally, you, your screen has to be on, but you can have it to where it's on, you know, on the lock screen, or you can have it to where it's off and just sitting there, which is pretty neat, because if you have it, 
I mean, say you have your Galaxy S3 in your pocket and you want to send a file to it from this phone. You don't want to turn on the Galaxy S3 screen because it's in your pocket, so you can just tap this against it and send the file without it even turning on, which is pretty neat. Now my Galaxy S3 isn't running this wrong, but you know, just a little heads up. And it comes with custom wallpapers. Go to home screen, go to wallpapers. Skip the little touch whiz basic ones. And you see you got some pretty neat wallpapers. I'm not gonna spend too much time, but I'd like this one. Go over this one. That's my current wallpaper. It looks kinda like the I think it's Android Central, I think. If Android, Android Central. Something like that that has that. But you see right here we have the extended power menu, so you can have your reboot options. I like the custom see-through toggles, carry label. This is a really, really neat ROM. For those that want the best of AOSP and TouchWiz, in my personal opinion. And yes, you still have your um, multi-window, transparent light. I don't really use multi-window that much, actually ever. But it's there. I chose the transparent mod because it looks pretty sweet. And yeah. If you guys know how to install this ROM, you don't have to stick around, but I'm going to show you guys that don't know how to install this ROM, like a quick little installation guide. But what you want to do is go to wipe, uh, I guess I will, go to wipe data factory reset, swipe to wipe, go back. Now this is completely optional, the first time I installed this I didn't, but if you want to you can wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache. Then we're going to go to install. Sorry, it's a big phone. And you're going to want to install the tweaked 1.5 UALLV. Is that a 4? 4, my bad. <laughs> and you are going to swipe to install. Now, this is an aroma based installer. If you don't know what an aroma based installer is, it's basically a, um, a touch installer. So you see right here. So we're going to go to next. And you agree to this. Hit next. And this gives you a change log of basically everything. So if you want to see what's changed, you can keep that. Now, if you are on T-Mobile, you can check the keep because this keeps your phone type. You know, this keeps the um, check that makes that checks for T-Mobile based phone. I'll get that out one way or the other. Now, if you're on AT&T and flashing this, you want to choose skip because if you choose, you know, the keep, it'll know your phone's not AT&T and it won't work for you. But we're going to choose skip, go to next. You can choose a default install, which just installs everything, or custom. No one goes default, right? So, under default options, it gives you the list of everything that will be installed, but that's no fun, right? So, this is personal preference. I mean, you can't have two browsers. You can't have the AOSP browser and the CM. I mean, and you can't have the AOSP browser and the touch with browser there we go so if you want one you can't have the other zoom in a little bit for you guys to be able to see this so I want the AccuWeather widget don't want that but I do want the AOSP keyboard this is where you choose the AOSP MMS this is the messaging app so if you want that make sure to check that chat on Chrome Dropbox DSP manager extra fonts Google Media, that's just their playbooks, play magazines, play videos, their movies, and stuff like that. You have Google Plus, you have Keys. This is the launcher mod. I like the 5x5 five because five you can just choose more. Custom wallpapers. LMT launcher for Pi. I don't really care for the, you know, the um, Samsung M Music Hub, Media Hubs, and all that. So I'm going to skip. You can have the My Files from the Note 2, Samsung Apps, Samsung IMEI mod which kind of just mods the keyboard. I noticed that the keyboard kind of hangs if you do that, so I don't really recommend that. But Now, this is where you choose a stock browser if you didn't choose the other browser. So, as suggest, S-Voice, Terminal Emulator, T-Mobile Apps, which we don't want to do. Multi-Window, if you want. Now, you can have the opaque, which means the untransparent apps. But I mean, transparent looks pretty cool. And then Widgets and YouTube. Now, miscellaneous, this is where you want to choose the AT&T FI. This installs the AT&T, like the APNs and everything like that, that we want to use. 
So, yeah. And we'll choose these. So, choose the volume hack because who doesn't like ladder volume, right? So, we're going to go to next. And this just gives us the option for the volume. Where if we want max, high, I'm going to go to max because why not, right? And it says you are ready to install. Zoom back out. So, we're just going to hit install. Now, this takes about, I want to say, a minute or so to install. But it does install pretty fast. It is a 900 megabyte file. So, it's going to take a little bit to download it. It took me about five minutes to download. So, it is a pretty big file. And remember, check the MD5. Don't try to flash a, you know, a bad file. Done installing. Hit next. I will make this under a 20 minute video. I, pr I promise. Choose next. And... Galaxy Note 2 means we're getting somewhere. A little tweaked boot. Oh, this, this ROM is called tweaked, by the way. I don't think I ever said that during this entire video. <laughs> wow, what a fail. But here's the cool looking boot animation. See, there we go. We got the buttons I just highlighted. We know the phone's booting up. No issues. And just get to the get to the screen. Sorry for making this video longer than I wanted to, but I'll see you guys in the next video.